Hi guys, welcome back to Red Dog Gaming, where today we are continuing our Let's Play on the original Rogue Total War as the Julii. Now, we are fighting this battle. I've just noticed that our general has become known as Herius the Brave, which is actually kind of awesome. Pretty cool that he's become known as Herius the Brave. Now, this army we are fighting, it's got two cavalry units. We've completely outstripped them in cavalry. Also got more... Um, Astarte, oh, I've just realised I accidentally took a peasant. Well, don't need to can just send those guys back to Narbo or something. Um, this shouldn't be too hard. Like, their guys only have three armour. Most of their defence comes from their shield, their swordsman. And their attack's actually okay. But a charge from our cavalry should basically break them as soon as their general's dead. Now, obviously, we don't want to charge the, the barbarian mercenaries in the front. But we shouldn't have a problem as soon as uh, their general's dead. Which we should be able to kill reasonably. Early. Um, Herius is getting up there on command. He's now got uh, six, which is alright. On a battlefield, this man inspires confidence in his soldiers. Sometimes the facade cracks, but not often. So let's go in there and let's see what we can do. I'm hoping we can completely destroy this army. I mean, we should be able to after uh, everything that's happened. We'll listen to what Herius has to say. I don't think we've lost against the Gauls yet, so he should have a reasonably good speech, but we'll uh, listen to him. I wonder whether he says anything about being brave. The Gauls fool themselves and think they are our equals or better. I think they had the stench of death about them. They stand alone. No friend has come to this place to die for them. Does this not say something about their honor? They're standing among nations? That army is one quarter of the enemy's strength. So sharpen your swords one last time. When we have killed them all, we will have made a good start. The first move in this particular game is theirs, I think. We are even matched in numbers, man for man. But that does not tell the whole story. All that said, we are the stronger. Every one of you is better than they. Remember this, and take heart from the memory. They are lacking in spearmen, and this will work to the benefit of our large contingent of horsemen. I have fought these men many times, and even now they must be praying to their false gods for mercy. They will have little enough of it from me. And before we start, just remember, they are more scared of us, true Romans to a man, then we are of them! Cool. That looks like it's it. Um, interesting that... Uh, I still don't understand why they say nobody's come to help us, help them, when we don't have anyone to help us either. We can fire at will with these guys. You can stay behind peasants. Honestly, I just want you for garrison, so stay over there. And I'm also interested as to why these guys came and attacked us. Like, why did they? Uh, why did they decide to attack us when we clearly have better units? They're getting up uh, experience now, which is pretty awesome. 16 defense for these guys now. Uh, melee attacks not huge, but their missile attacks pretty strong. And these equites with four experience, they're starting to get up there with their attack and their defense skill. Nine defense skill, so pretty good. But I'm sure these armies will all be replaced quite soon. Um, actually, let's go up here because this is kind of on a hill. Fire at will, you guys. Group them back again. Uh, you can go there, and then we'll put all the cavalry together. I'm just going to go after his general. So, let's walk forward. You guys. Let's see whether we can get you in a good uh, position here. There we are, that's good. Get there. Don't seem too scared of this. Uh, I'm not really that scared of that barbarian cavalry there. Let's come down here. Now, quite often the general bodyguard decides to charge our Hastati rather than deal with our cavalry. So, yeah, it looks like what he's doing now. Mm. Our Hastati, not all got much experience, but there's a bit of experience going on there. So, let's, uh, let's come back, actually. Well, 
of these guys. I was going to say if they were swordsmen, I would have charged them. You need to get in there. You need to fire your uh, missiles. Yeah. Not great, actually. Let's come around this way. Looks like they are, their general is going to attack directly into us. Okay, they've, they've started routing um, cavalry then. Bit of a mess here. Let's go up this way. It's just that so many units about. We've got a large contingent of cavalry here. You two, let's see whether we can get you engaged there. You of War Vandal, possible. Honestly, 120 of these guys. They don't know which way they're facing. Let's go after them. They're facing the wrong way. Cool. It's good for us. Go after these swordsmen. And we will help you out there. Now, that's the general. Two units of Asati do quite well against them. Yeah, that's going to route. Let's, let's, yeah, general's... Oh, no, general's running. Don't want him to escape. Don't want him to escape. Let's go. Hopefully the equitator is slightly faster than him. Because we want to destroy this army. It's a whole uh, quarter of their troops, apparently. So, it's pretty good for us if we wipe it out. It means they've only got three armies this size left. Okay, General's dead. Right, we should be able to just mop up this whole army now. Okay, the only people that are going to escape are those barbarian cavalry. Um, send you guys after this way. After those swordsmen. You will attack. There we are, that's better. You go after them. You go after them. You go after these guys. You go after these guys. And generally you need a couple of guys just in this mess. Uh, yeah, we're not going to catch those barbarian cavalry, but it's not really a, a worry. Got to these swordsmen here. How much have we killed anyway? 78, so we're nearly, uh, nearly full destroying these guys. Wiping them from the map, so that's another quarter. How many have we lost? 9%. Most of the damage came through this Astarte. No, this one. We got charged by the cavalry the inside. That was a bit sloppy. The enemy's but hearts are full of fear, and now they flee. Let's go across here. Actually, they're more important right now. Who's not got anything to do? You two. Um, after these guys. Has anyone else? Doesn't look like it. It's all good. They've destroyed them. I find it hard to double click the mouse right now, I don't know why. There we are. Should be more than 85 now. Yeah, 97. <laughs> Very nice. General's dead. Who was it? Dumnerix of Vesontio. Cool. Well, Herius the Brave has uh, proven himself once again, and his general bodyguards are getting oh, up very oh, nicely uh, experienced. The day is ours! I don't know how far away we are off getting um, getting Marion reforms, but should be pretty soon now. Um, Carthage is upgrading to a huge city, and it won't be long before Eretium does it, so um, these units are all going to become obsolete. So we'll continue fighting with them against Gaul, um, and we'll slowly replace them. And as we fight, we'll just merge them in, because we we're not going to be able to retrain them. Uh, yeah, so these guys... They got about 17 healed, but we took so few losses that we weren't going to get much healing anyway. Now, inflicted, the Barbarian Cavalry Mercenaries got 132. That's pretty good. That has started got 130. Mainly from running people down, I would assume. In war, we must be speedy. Silius Italicus. Cool. So, kind of cool that uh, Herius has that trait now that he's brave. Okay. Iberia, yes, I would like map information because, okay, Carthage, that's where Carthage is surviving. Lilibium and Cordoba. And it's also interesting to note that the Gauls still have some troops down here. Now, where is this? I was, this, this area, I don't care, honestly, if we get sunk there because we've been stuck there for a long time. It's just costing us money. Um, I think we're all alright to keep going, apart from you. Now, Narbo, you're happy already. Salia, I think we put you in Narbo, though. Um, 
we can disband you if if, uh, if, uh, if it becomes right to do so. Let's have a look. Probably need one more unit, two more units in this. I'm just wary of recruiting more just because of the Marion reforms though, and I'm and I'm sure like this stack can handle anything that the Gauls throw at us. Okay, Thurman is growing. That's awesome. We've not been able to uh, build something there for a while. Um, Herius the Brave gets great commander, so now he's good. He's got so the reason why he had six, he had the Barbarian Turncoat. What else? Uh, he's a great commander. He's a good attacker. He's a good defender. That's why. So he got plus two. So now he would be seven. Great vanquisher. 20% bonus to our popularity with the people and 2 morale to all troops on battlefield for legendary hero. Awesome. I wonder where our standing is with the people now that we've got him. Yeah, they love us. The opportunity to take Rome will come soon, but honestly, we're not even half started with conquering, so let's just carry on conquering. And we'll take Rome when we've got a few lovely urban cohort armies. So these guys here can retrain all of these guys. Is it just for armor though? No, it's not. It's it's for actual retraining, so that's good. Now we want public order here, so probably the health. No, we don't want that. Let's take the shrine to use them. Let's use these guys to clean all of this up. Hmm. We'll just use two guys then to train, retrain. And we need a couple more units. We need a peasant to leave here. So we'll actually probably just get that. And was it Vettius I was going to send across? It's only 34 though. Um, honestly, I just want the younger people in charge. So 26. Imperator. You would be good. Imperator. Because Amulius is 33 still. So, in terms of our armies, we want to be moving up to Nicomedia probably with this one, and this one up to Ankara, or down to here. Hmm. So we've got that army going there, we've got this army that needs to take Cyrene, but it can. We've got the army at Lugdunum, which has just laid siege to it. Nero Rex is also a good commander. These guys just need retraining and yeah, recruiting a peasant to, so we can leave. That guy's going to get absolutely ruined when we when we fight. Um, and let's do some building. So here, actually, let's send. Hmm, I'd like to send him to Sardis, but the only place we can go is here. So let's knock him backwards. He can't move next turn. should have probably looked at what they had. Okay, they've got literally nothing. So next turn I think we'll take our generals and the cavalry. We'll probably take actually, rather than Gracchus, who's better, we'll probably just take Vettius and see whether he can get him upgraded so he can outstrip Avibius if he changes commanders. Right, so let's do some building and then we will go on to the battles. So let's have a look here. Large Temple of Jupiter. Hmm. I'd like a blacksmith here for when we uh, can get urban cohort. Um, Suggester. Let's take that. Get the law. Is there any corruption here? No, there isn't. So we actually don't need that. Um, let's go. Let's keep on going for population growth. And Carolus. Hmm. You also probably population growth. Serta, probably baths. How's Carthage looking? Okay, it's gone up slightly after those riots. Probably because a few people died. Kydonia, yeah, you're not ready yet. Lepsis Magda, you're not ready. Halicarnassus, let's get the port. Mm, actually, let's go for public order. Yeah, and then Narbo Martius, yep. Yeah. What are we training here at Pergamon? Doesn't look like we need all these. Yep. Yeah. Um, we're training here at Sardis. Yep. 
Yeah. Cool. Don't need those uh, more of those peasants, I don't think. Need to retrain these guys, though. Do we have... Ah, oh, no, it's, it was showing a different town again. So we do need to train those peasants. I can ask this. We should be okay with just one unit. Cool. So let's get Vibius in here. See whether we can uh, fight this guy. We'll probably just auto-resolve with the rebels afterwards. Well, let's destroy... Oh my god, it's just four Eastern infantry. They're basically town watch. Um, I will fight this though, because I don't want my Equites to take a huge amount of damage. We'll fire at them. They, they've got big shields, but we'll fire at them with the archers for a little while, and then we'll charge in with the cavalry from, from the rear. As usual, the, the standard hammer, hammer and anvil every time. Don't think we need to listen to the speech this time, because it's such a small battle. Oh, I hate fighting in trees. It's going to hamper our archers as well. So let's come over this way. It's a really weird shaped map this. We don't want to be charging up this. So it's a lot better to come around this way. Now our Roman archers are actually kind of crappy. Because they don't have long range missiles. So we'll just march them as usual. Oh god why would you go all the way over there. Um, archers... Honestly, just go for the firing at them. And then these guys can just walk and we'll speed it up. They might they might honestly retreat. I don't know whether they can though. If they start charging our archers, we'll charge our cavalry. Bring them a bit closer to the archers because it's a bit better. And now you guys can run. I bet you you're still fresh, good. Alright, let's go. Let's get in here if we can. I'm honestly amazed that the Roman archers can't fire that far. I could literally throw a fucking arrow further than that. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I have to try. What is that? That looks like. 100 meters, maybe? Yeah, I don't think I could throw an arrow 100 meters, but <laughs> the point still stands. Why are they so terrible? They have no experience as well, so it's not great for us. Why are two of these guys um, just chilling right in front of everyone? They're the scouts, I suppose. How are they doing? Their guys' shields are quite good, so that's probably the issue here. If we could turn that whole army, that would be really good for the archers, so... It's coming to about here. We probably won't need the Hastati or anything again. Nope. Just fire at will. Yeah, they are changing all their positions now. Come up here. Let's run that way. You can charge us, but not going to catch us unless we stop mid mid escape. Okay, we're coming up against the red line here, so we probably need to come back down this way. On our way. Um, okay, this unit still wants to to to, to party, so send. Right, you okay? Everyone, if they're gonna, if they're gonna, if they're gonna turn their back on us. Let's run here. Let's see whether we can charge them. Let's go. All the archers are still firing. Very good. Nearly destroyed all of them. This will help them get some experience as well, which is good. Uh, we've still got that one from the start, and it's only gained three experience, which is not particularly amazing. Okay, let's just carry on firing. It's all about efficiency. Let's go for the general. He's got his back turned. Once that general's dead, it should be a mass rout. Vibius, I honestly don't care if Vibius dies. 
General's routing. Let's go. Um, you guys are probably killing more of our troops with friendly fire than anything else, so stop. I don't want to lose too many equities here. That's good. How many have we killed? 90%, so that should be them dead. Nice. The victory. I'm hoping Vibius doesn't get any command from this. He shouldn't because it was such an easy battle. And then we can replace him with uh, Vettius, victory! or whatever that guy's name was. And he could probably make it across there right now, to be honest. Decimus Vettius. No, not Vettius. Ahenobarbus. Right, well, well, let's go deal with this army then. Yeah. I just, we'll take the slingers just to deal with the uh, militia cavalry, because screw the militia cavalry. Take the archers as well. It's literally only 70, 79 men. I'm hoping Anheno Barbus gets uh, a spitty mouthful, that name, isn't it? I'm hoping he gets some command from this. He's got four. So, he must have a couple of uh, retainers that are helping out. Let's see what the he says. Seer has been consulted, but his vision is clouded. Today we make our own destiny then. These men of Pontus are not worthy of your fear. They will die beneath the blows of your swords. Seems pretty normal. They have been led here by strutting fools and black... I wonder whether the strutting... <laughs> I never know which traits generate which uh, speeches, apart from like the Madman one, I know that gives you the Moon Men with the silly hats. So, go after these guys. Honestly, it's good they're by the, the, by the, they're by the line. Let's not run quite this close. I mean, we're going to be charging up the hill. Hmm. So, I just want to kind of block them into this corner though, so kind of do need to come up the hill in some way. Maybe here. Uh, let's speed it up again. Now, the odds are in our favour a lot. So, okay, we don't want to deal with that. Let's put these militia cavalry. Honestly, we should just break most of these guys. We just want to go after the militia cavalry though, because they're so annoying. Yeah, see, so they're killing our men going to be taken to the red line now. Honestly, just stand and fight these guys. There's only four of them. Have you not caught them yet? Come on, hurry up. That was your prime opportunity, you idiots. Oh, screw those guys. Yeah, we killed them. How are we not getting these guys? Come on. Fucking slow. Right, let's go with that. Send you off to fight these guys. They should just route anyway, but I, the problem with them routing is the fact that they might uh, that might mean that their army's not destroyed, but I'm sure we'll be able to destroy them no matter what. Yeah, fire at that guy. General is running away. This no, he's is not. He's going to die. There we are. The Very nice. And now his men fear Get after us. these guys. It is time to press the attack. You, uh, you guys, stop firing. Go after this unit. So we're winded. They're winded. They're also shaken. Just run all of these guys down. Very nice. The only person we've got left to deal with is this. It doesn't look like they've used all the... Okay, they're going for the escape, I think. Nope. Let's try and cut them off then if they're not going for the escape. There we are, perfect. Should bring them into melee. Should shred them. The enemy show their true virtue. Should kill these guys because they're, they're so soldiers. annoying. Only frightened rabbits running yeah, from kill them all. Men. Very nice. Perfect. You two, actually. We don't need you to... Fire. Chase these guys down because they're so annoying. No way, how do they. He just did the shimmy. 
just did the shimmy on you guys. You should be ashamed. Literally just went boop boop. <laughs> just escaped that all a whole marauding cavalry charge. Well, we don't need to, <laughs> we don't need to do that anymore. He's too skilled. We'll this let him go. He's got too many skills. Too many skills. We killed another one of the Pontus generals. That's Victory! good. Uh, he didn't gain any traits, it looks like. General. Uh, what was that? So he's a good attacker. That's what the other two was coming from. Publicly loyal. That's a pretty good trait as well. We should be able to retrain these guys some more. So let's go here. Let's do that and let's get rid of everything here. Recruit the peasants as well, again. Now you, yeah we should not need to, that's a hot light so we should not need to, yeah we only lost zero men from that so pretty good. Um, while you're here, can't do much, can we send Heno Barbas over there, we can. Uh, so let's do that. You should be able to fit in here now. Cool. Retinue expands Vibius. Ah, Turncoat Slave. That means he'll be better fighting rebels, but not going to be fighting too many rebels. I could get rid of these guys. I think, were they the remnants of the Greeks? Maybe, but they don't even have a faction, um, a faction member, so we probably can leave them without them besieging us down so what do we have up here not quite ready to do that uh, we're ready to take Cyrene I think that's the only other thing we can do this turn build Pergamum what do we want here Probably these guys, so we can start recruiting early, well, legionary cohorts as soon as they become available. Um, and this army. Okay, this army is full. It's going to be more full in a second. We'll use the Thracians as a. Um, we can put the Thracians in here, actually. Yeah, let's put the Thracians in the other army. Retrain these guys, I'll get some uh, attack. So we don't need to recruit anything from here. Maybe some triremes. Carry on with those. And are we building everywhere here? Looks like it. Kaidonia, you're done with everything. Lepsis Magia, you're done. Yep. Carry on building. Building, building. Narbo. What about you? No. Uh, building everything here. That's good. So... Can't take that battle. Can take Cyrene though. It's another town, but it just all adds up. What do they have? Mm. I honestly think with that ratio, we will do better auto-resolving it. Because they have hoplites here, and they've got missiles, and we don't have any long-range missiles, so probably take more losses assaulting it. See? Oh, well, it was, a, it was 131 they got. Victory! Not great. To make up for that, though, we'll do another battle. So we'll either take that Gallic town or we'll uh, do another battle over in Pontus. So let's enslave these guys. They had quite a few, uh, quite a few uh, population here already. Temple of Jupiter. Um, we basically want to leave this place as soon as we can. Now, there is one more town, though mm, not really bothered about taking it. It's so rubbish. Uh, and are we even at war with... Yeah, we are still at war with Numidia, I think. But their, their roster is just so weak, it's not really even worth fighting them. Over here, have they brought any armies? They've got this guy. Don't even think it could beat that, though. And, I mean, Thapsus only has that, but... If we need to, we, we could just start recruiting an army from Carthage. Now, do we need to be recruiting all these guys? We need to recruit one, it seems. Retrain the rest. Get that population down a little bit. So I think that's all we can do this turn. General. Yep. Uh, so let's end the turn here. See what happens. Okay, Seleucids so want trade. 
let's see how big the Seleucids are, because I was thinking Pontus might have beaten them, but it seems not. Ah, oh, they're, they're tiny now. We'll be at war with them very soon. We'll get the two Pontus towns to the north, and then we'll move our move one of our armies down to fight those guys. Okay, Thrace wants an alliance. Are they willing to give us 3,000 denarii? That's fine, because... Um, not too much of a worry because Brutii is probably going to go to war with them very soon and it's just going to break it automatically. Now, a benefactor for Nero. Now, he's in Cyrene. Hmm. He would be quite good to be a governor for one of these larger towns down here. So, let's accept him. And we're going to bring him along with us if we can. Now, who will we leave behind though? We'd leave behind this, this unit. So let's see what we can do here. Do we have... Okay, we've got a chance for power. So our popularity is pretty high. The senators don't really like me. That's that's fine. They like uh, the Brutii though. They haven't even given us like senate offices. We have the Pontifex Maximus. But they like the Scipii the most apparently. Julianus Scipio. And Quintus Scipio. They're both still alive. So we are quite early in the game. Let's see. Okay, that's fine. Now, you... Honestly, you can come down to this town and see what's in it. Um, even maybe siege it down if there's no one... If there's literally one unit in there. Um, do we have... Yeah. Take one of these. I know it's going to be slower. Take one of these with you. Gives us another uh, benefit. It's good. And let's come around to Alexandria. That's the, that's the next target, I think. Um, do we want to go for it? That's going to take three turns. So, do we want to go for it straight away? I think we do. These two armies here are not too much of a... Oh, God, look at Sardis. Stick that down. Um, these two armies here are going to be dealing with Pontus, but Pontus looks like it might only have a couple of territories. And if not, that might be Pontus. Looking back, judging by the map colour. Uh, that's Seleucids. Yeah, that is Pontus still. Then Armenia. But, uh, yeah, it won't be too much of a worry to deal with these guys. Oh, that's a big army. Uh, full of trash, though, apart from the chariots. Hmm. Dealing with them chariots is annoying, but Sir. we can do it. Sir. Join. Swap the Thracians. Sir. Swap the Thracians over. General. Bring you in. Cool. And it looks like you're still commanded by Vibius. You have good attacker and good commander, factionaire, vanquisher. Hmm. Doesn't matter. Be okay. And Sardis. Everyone apart from the peasants. Let's see whether we can do it. Doesn't look like it. 65 though. That should fix it. But I'm wondering whether we just put the Thracians in and don't worry about it. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, now you, you're slightly weaker, I think, than this. Yes, you are. You don't have any archers either. You have more cavalry, though. Uh, you're a good commander. We're going to bring you up to Ankira. Stick a watchtower here. So you're going to come up to Ankira, probably fight that battle. We can do a draw out here. It's just... Okay, they're Eastern Infantry. They're not a worry. These guys, they have some phalanxes. But these guys with the scythe chariots, they're actually kind of scary. But shouldn't be too much of an issue. Right, Cyrene. Recruited Sardis. Yep. Um, no, let's not retrain them. It's a waste of money. And then Carthage. Are we back to being okay? Looks like it. Now, once that finishes, our public order in Carthage should be a lot better. Thrace and the House of Julii, Retinue expands near, uh, near Rex, good. Now he's got 5 command and he's only 28, excellent. Aye, Captain. Um, so you two are fighting and then we've got this Gallic town. General, engage the enemy. I mean we have the chance for a draw out battle here which would be better for us. Let's just see what they've got. They've only got, it seems like, a general in there, yeah. A general, a warband, and a skirmisher warband. Uh, we honestly have we have no um, 
Okay, Chosen Swordsman. These guys are okay. Uh, they have good morale. They've got excellent morale. So we're going to have to deal with them. Probably surround them with a starty and then charge our generals into the back of them. The Swordsmen actually have good morale as well, but they seem to break pretty easily last time. So they're coming from the right. Send our cavalry up to the right to deal with them. Leave that general behind. Herius. He's now Herius the Great, which is actually awesome. Um, shouldn't be too much of a worry this battle, although he has got 35 bodyguards. Reasonably strong. Well, listen to what he says. He's now newly titled Herius the Great, which is awesome. Pretty cool name. Wars are the dread of mothers, apparently, according to Horace. Makes sense. Um, but yeah, it's cool. Like We're getting a few generals and they're all pretty young, so These that's great. Let's listen. Fear. Cold steel will bring them down, just like any other men. They have been lulled into a false sense of security by a few feet of defensive wall, as if that will protect them. We outnumber them by a large margin, but this may drive them to foolhardy defiance. Be careful. Our brave horsemen must wait to do their work until a breach has been opened in the enemy defenses. Many times I have faced this enemy, and many times I have beaten them. Today, when we win, this victory will be yours as much as mine. And at the last, brave Romans, I say this. Strength and honor to you all! Cool. So we're getting to the point where the, uh, the speeches are beginning to get a slight bit repetitive like they're, they're basically saying the same stuff every time oh this is a great bit of war these two hmm, they might get shot here maybe even here um, that gate's actually okay I think they've chosen the right ones to be the, uh, the ram carriers this time so these three and then you bring your ram over here in case it gets one of them gets destroyed, which it shouldn't. Now this is the army that has very few melee troops, isn't it? Actually, do all of these guys. Group them all together. There we are. And then we'll uh, group all the cavalry. Should be on the bottom, apart from that singular guy. I don't know why we keep him around, but he's doing all right. He's enjoying himself. Not sure whether they'll come from the corner or just from here, so stand about here. Let them come in. We want to destroy that army that comes in, so let's do it. The fairy man will be now busy today. you go here, have you go here, and you come across here and we'll open the gates that way. But you're still holding on to this, I didn't mean to do that. Now you guys bring me forward a slight bit. Okay, there they are. Those are swordsmen, those are the chosen. So the chosen swordsmen will probably deal with last. Are they going to come out? No, they're just running inside there. Our two generals are this side, so they might get caught by the chosen swordsmen. Don't really want that to happen. We shouldn't really kill many of our troops because they're pretty well experienced. Instant death for those guys. They're going to chart, they're going to go back inside the uh, settlement. We've got the charge off, they're not confident enough to charge us, so we'll do it. They're broken already, they have ex they supposedly have extra morale, but it doesn't look like it. The God be yeah, kill, the, kill them all. The enemy's hearts are full of fear and now they flee. Yeah, those guys were go are going to get killed in the siege battle anyway. Come over this way. Our soldiers are at the walls! Go after these now swordsmen. Chosen swordsmen are more important to kill. But they were not an issue for our cavalry. Cavalry's pretty experienced, which is good. Just a shame you can't like merge them into It'd be nice if you had like an upgrade option where you could like merge them into say the new Roman cavalry. Or even when they're Roman cavalry, upgrade them to be heavy cavalry and it cost you like a fraction of the price of recruiting a new one. That would be a really good feature. I don't know whether the game engine would uh, take it, but it would be a good feature to have anyway. 
Oh, Herius. Where are you? Okay, you're still here. Good. Are these guys even getting shot? I don't think so. So we'll come over here. We'll come over here. We can uh, put them all on uh, fire at will because I haven't got any specific targets we want to be aiming for, like chariots. They're the skirmishers. They're the warlord. And yeah, warband in the center. I think we want to just bring our cavalry in again. What are you guys, what are you doing? What's wrong with these gates? Well, guess we're not we're not going through the gates then. <laughs> you gonna keep going? No. Apparently they don't want to go after those gates. What about this wall here? Yeah, the wall's fine. Not the gates though. The problem with this cavalry is it's gonna take a long it's going to take them ages to get inside the city and they're going to run in like absolute idiots in a big line so just don't want to be charged by their Show warlord no while we're here the enemy walls are down make sure their soldiers are buried beneath the ruins play normal speed it's getting after these guys don't want to fire the i just want to charge them oh wait we've got some experience with these guys good now, cavalry wise, we're not even going to be able to fit in here, are we? Just go here. Like, everyone, can you all fit there? Cool. They've got all their cavalry there. Our soldiers are at the walls! Now they must batter away through! Yeah, they're going to break. They're only skirmishes. Alright, cavalry. Now that their cavalry's run away, let's get up to here. And all these guys, are you up to here? If we can. Are we, the only spearmen we have are these guys, which I'm not bothered by. Hmm, don't want to charge those warband head on. We might bring our cavalry round this side. We could probably just charge them. It's, it's just annoying that they're in the town centre because they won't break. They just have to be ground down. All right, cavalry. We will run around actually. Actually, no. We'll we'll leave Herius there in case he needs to inspire the troops. These guys can run around though. And you guys seem to be the well, reasonably the most. Uh, um, full units in terms of men. You come in behind them if you can. If we go there. We'll be able to fire some uh, fire some peeler at the uh, at the general if you if he decides to charge us. So an equites come back round here. Yay! We broke we've broken down these walls. Awesome. The walls are down. <laughs> Don't go Order this way. Why would you victory. come this way? Like literally stupid. Right, these four. Let's wait for the cavalry to get in place. Bring them here. If they decide to go up this way, yeah, good, don't. Um, honestly, let's just charge our Hastati in, really. It's probably the, well, the best thing to do right now. Bring uh, Herius up here. Come on, Harrius, I'll sprint. That's what I'm meant to do. Yep, yeah, and uh, now the cavalry. Let's go for this. Fire your uh, arrows in. I'm going to charge Harrius in. Hope he doesn't die. So, do your rally. Okay, he's right at the back. I'm going to fire your peeler at the barbarian warlord. Oh, come on, guys. What are you doing? That is the problem with the scripting here. Like, why? Why do they have to go and just all charge into this obelisk thing? Rather than stand. Okay, that's the actual general, isn't it? That's the barbarian general. We can kill him. Nice. These guys should break. Even though they're kind of shredding some of our cavalry. Yeah, no, get out of there. Get out of there. They're just not going to know. They just don't know how to run inside the seas. 
That's why like field battles are just so much better when you got cavalry. It's not even the uh, inability to like to use them properly. It's more the fact that they're just so stupid. Like, why do they have to run here to run there when there's all this open ground? Right, we'll use Herius maybe here, yeah, get him some experience. These guys should get shredded by the peeler. Let's fire it again if you can. Charge Herius in. Out. Back in. Getting a bit of experience with some of their starty. Cool. Nice one. How much did we lose? 16%. Actually not very good for such a small army. A lot of it was in that stupid charge though. I would say probably, yeah, that, that, that equity is down to 29. Yeah, lost 23. So, uh, not the best, but what can you do? It's alright. It's not too bad. We sh might be able to retrain here as well because it's a large town. A lot better than taking Lebanon. And Elysia, it looks like a large town still, but it could be a city. Just won't tell us because it's their capital. Um, yeah, if we had a, yeah, if that spy could get a bit closer, what's the chance? Your only chance of success is 22. They got two chosen harm, um, chosen swordsmen, and some barbarian noble cavalry here, so they've actually got a good army. But if we could do a draw out battle, it'd be easy to deal with. Now here. Okay, we can recruit a start here, that's awesome. Let's repair that, get rid of this sacred grove. Get the shrine to Jupiter. And let's spread some experience about. So you had to have two. You're probably gonna go to silver if we do this. Hmm, maybe not. No? Uh, what would I prefer? Okay, we've lost the experience there. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, we lost the experience there as well. That's better. So we should only need to recruit, uh, retrain those two. Now this is a silver, so should be spreading the experience around a bit. And what about this one? Mm. No, that's going to destroy it. These guys. Oh, that was worse. Okay, there we are. Two silver. Brilliant. Do we have a... I think we can retrain them all because we've got a blacksmith here. But we want to focus on the most important units. So, those guys. And then we'll recruit... Hmm, what do we want to recruit here? I think we've got enough cavalry. Let's recruit some Hastati. Actually, recruit peasants because we're going to keep moving. There's no need to keep recruiting people. Now, this can be expanded. Over in Carthage, how are we doing? Still one turn away. Annoying, but fine. And Medellianium. Uh, what do we want here? That's the place where we've got cavalry, isn't it? Only a minor city, though. I'd like to be able to get to Hippodrome. Not too far away. Still not that close, though. Parma. What do we want here? None of these really help, apart from Temple of Jupiter. It's got corruption. Yeah, it does have corruption. Got a little bit of trade, actually quite a bit of trade for a small place, like a large town. Quite good. Uh, Sparta, we'll take the market. Corinth, we've just upgraded to a minor city. Awesome. Um, how's the corruption looking over here? Quite a lot. Yeah, that's going to reduce it by like 60. She's okay. Not amazing, but it's okay. Cilia. Um Let's go for the road so we can bring reinforcements through here quicker. Sardis. Now, you need to be made happy. Why have you saying you've got a governor? You don't have a governor. He's here. That's really confusing. It still thinks there's a governor here. What? Let's recruit another peasant just to keep them happy. They shouldn't revolt this turn. 
and let's see what else what, what other building we got to do and then the episode probably going to be over there uh, and we'll have a look at we'll just at the end of this episode we'll have a look at a the few they didn't notify me about Kaidonia growing okay it still thinks he's here it's Cyrene gone where are you um they're not Sardis Cyrene build just build them both Yep, we've moved you. Moved you two. Spy. Let's come up to Ankira. We've moved you. Yep, awesome. So it looks like we've moved everyone. So while we're here, let's just take a look at our faction ranking scroll. See how we're doing. Okay, we're going on a pretty uh, special upward uh, Upward ranking here. Let's see where we are compared to all the factions. That looks like that's Egypt. Yeah, Egypt looks like they might be our big rival right now, to be honest. Is that the Brutii? Eye? Brutii Eye look quite strong. Let's put the top five fraction, uh, factions. So the Scipia and the Brutii Eye are still top five. And Spain. Spain is the fifth on the overall. That's actually mental. Doesn't really. So Germania and the Britons. Britannia is nearly quite close. They normally spread quite quickly, but it doesn't seem like they're, they're, they're really spreading at all. Now, military ranking. Uh, we've kind of gone down, probably because we've lost a few units in the last couple of battles. But uh, Brutii are still the strongest, and Egypt's close. However, you know, our units are probably better quality, more experienced, because we've been in a lot more battles. Brutii have hardly done anything, and the Scipii have done nothing as well. Uh, production, we are still on top. Territorial, how the money? We've got 26. Um, so what's that? About a quarter of the map-ish. Um, not too bad. It's going all right. Um, and we're nearly, nearly about well, we're about 40 turns in or so. Um, now Egypt only has about 10 territories. It looks like they will all be quite, uh, quite rich though. Look at the Brutii's money. That's mad. They just make. If we remove them, I was going to say oh, I was hoping the map would, uh, yeah, would rejig re re itself, but it, it doesn't. Uh, yeah, we're we're nowhere near them in terms of money, but population. We've got more than Egypt now, which is good. So I think it was a good decision to come down here to Carthage, and to Greece because they're definitely better cities than just going up through Gaul. Like okay, Gaul's upgraded this one. But look, there's still towns around here. We just don't need need towns. They're, they're so useless right now. Okay, they won't be useless in a few turns, but yeah, it's not too much. Not brilliant. Um, you, you might go after this fort. If you do, that's fine. We'll send maybe this general to deal with it. He's a good general. How old is he? He's 28 now, though. Um, Maybe slightly too old to start recruiting an army for. Cool. So that's everything for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, please remember to like, subscribe, and follow me on Twitch where you can catch me uh, live gaming every single day. I'm hoping you're enjoying this series because I certainly am. So thank you very much, guys, and I will see you again in the next video.